Look at you. You got yourself locked up for five years. You're going to miss your family. You're going to miss your friends. Your time away is just going to be a big blank page in the story of your life. Every day you wake up, you are painfully reminded of the things that you just do not get to experience. Man, what you wouldn't give to just mosey on into a grocery store just to shop. How you long to just be able to watch children play at the park or simply just drive in the car to wherever. You just simply can't go on like this. There's got to be a way to get back to your freedom. But how? How can you exchange prison confinement with the refreshing air of freedom? Easy. Break up out that bitch. It's probably common knowledge to know that prison break in the U.S. could land you in some serious trouble. I mean, there are very successful movies and TV shows centered all around this narrative of escaping prison because it's a thing. Prisoners or inmates don't want to be there, but the prison itself has been given the duty of keeping them there until they've at least served their time. And in the U.S. at least, it almost seems like the longer you're there, the somehow better. For example, in the States, depending on where your sentence was given and the severity of your crimes, you could be given an extra almost decade of time behind bars after being caught escaping from prison. Now, I ain't here to discuss people's crimes and mistakes, nor am I here to talk about who deserves what. But the idea of locking people away for as long as possible just because you can seems a bit... But actually, not even Germany is like that. Because guess what? The way German prisons are set up, it's not designed to keep people there longer than they should be. We cannot see the sense in just locking people up for their whole lives. Your prisons will fill up and you have to build new prisons and so on. And I think that was the situation in the US. Yes, your freedom is stripped away temporarily, but their system wants you to serve your time and fucking go. But what about an inmate who can't wait to get to the, you know, the go part? Quite simply put, if you're locked up in a prison in Germany and you decide that you've had enough and you no longer want to be there, if you can find a way to leave, you can leave. That's because in Germany, which is one of the four countries that don't subscribe to an extra penalty on an individual just for wanting to be free, Belgium, Mexico, Austria, or the others, they more or less consider the desire to escape and fight for your liberty to be not only a basic human right, but human nature in and of itself. In short, it wouldn't make you an extra bad person to desire freedom. You might still be a criminal for what you did, but you're not a super criminal due to the same nature that every single human has. To be free. It just doesn't make sense, does it? Now, I really doubt that this is openly encouraged, but lawfully, it's not discouraged. Now, if you're watching this from anywhere outside of those four countries I mentioned, I can almost hear your thoughts going through your head. So these criminals get to just leave and go back to society as they please? You mean I could be sitting next to a criminal on a bus? Well, technically you could, but no, it doesn't quite work like that. If someone is successful at their prison escape in Germany, it doesn't mean that they've won. Prison isn't the final boss to a video game, and that prisoner won't just get to relax for the rest of their life. There's still time that they were given to serve, and that time needs to be served. So the proper authorities will indeed pursue them to return them to serve that sentence, even if it's years later. Their original time isn't automatically forgiven. They just won't receive extra time for having escaped, unless, unless more crimes were committed during their pursuit of said freedom. And this is the part where it can get tricky for them because anything from stealing government property in which the prison uniforms and the shoes all fall under, damaging government property, which could be as small as breaking a window or way up to like Shawshank Redemption levels of damage. Not only that, if any of the staff assists them, that could be considered bribery on the prisoner's part. If they hurt anybody in their pursuit to escape, that can count against them. If they use any mode of transportation that's not private and previously paid for, that's planes, trains, cars, whatever, 
that could count as theft. Using fake names, using fake IDs, leaving the country illegally, or even repeating the exact same crime that landed them there are all ways to get extra time added to their sentence. So on the outside looking in, it would seem that it's hardly worth the exchange of just doing that time in that German prison. I mean, especially if I might add, since German have some of the better prisons out there, you know, th for prisons. And why do I even say this? Well, because by comparison to the US prisons, Germany has kind of figured this shit out a bit better. Now, again, I'm not here to debate whether or not you believe they deserve to live like human beings or not while locked up, even though the recidivism rates between the two countries are night and fucking day. But I still think that as an inmate, it's got to be easier serving your time in a German prison, knowing that it could have been worse, much worse. I mean, what did I say before? This is crazy. I mean, you can't leave. That's the only thing that makes it sort of prison-y. But he's got everything. TV, video games, food, cookware. He can express himself with posters and, and calendars and all kinds of sports paraphernalia and things to keep him his mind right. I don't necessarily know if this is a bad thing. Most prisons around the world are about making the person a better person so that they can be an improvement to society once they're put back out there. Whereas in stateside prisons, they are stereotypically lonely, you're battered, you're always watching your back, you don't have things to express yourself. But here, this guy has everything right off the bat. Look at his cups and mugs, he drinks his coffee, he's got his food, everything in it. It's like he has his own apartment. And so I feel the same way now as I did before about German prisons. And I give them an extra thumbs up, huh? for knowing the difference between freedom and humanity and knowing which one they need to tackle when it comes to criminals. They recognize that the desire to be free is human nature and for better or worse, still allow for that to be a choice. You also have a choice. The video of the clips that you just saw, I made a while ago and it's one of my most successful videos on this channel. You can see the full commentary right here or you can check out this joint that YouTube thinks that you might like. Either way, just be sure to come back and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.